Right now, Ernesto is heading towards Bermuda as people on the island brace for its possible impact. Ernesto currently a Category 2 hurricane. Forecasters say it should pass near or over Bermuda tomorrow morning. Ernesto is expected to bring hurricane force winds, which could damage and cause some damage and cause power outages. The other big concern for Bermuda is the potential of flash flooding. NBC News correspondent Stephen Romo is with us in Hamilton, Bermuda, the capital city. So, Stephen, uh, looks like rain there. Tell us what you're seeing and how people are getting ready. Yeah, Kate and Sinclair, the rain has picked up. It's one of those uh, times when you're waiting on a hurricane, you get those outer bands and a sudden burst of wind and rain and then relatively calm. We just have some, some light rain at the moment right now. But Bermuda knows hurricanes well and they are taking this very seriously. They are stopping bus service. The airport will close 8 p.m. local time tonight. They're even closing that causeway, which connects St. David's Island, where the airport is located, with the rest of the mainland. They're telling people after 7 p.m., just stay indoors because conditions, they are expected to continue to deteriorate into tonight and throughout the morning. They say it could be 36 hours of extreme conditions with winds up to 36 knots, maybe even 40 knots at times. It's just a dangerous situation. And they're also telling people if you go out, you may be endangering more lives than just your own. Here's more of what local authorities had to say. This is a significant period of time to be under such condi conditions, and it presents a considerable risk to life and property. If you do not take these warnings seriously, you are putting yourself in danger and the lives of our emergency personnel who may be called to assist you. And for those tourists who are hoping to get out before the storm, they are running out of time. Many of them going to have to hunker down, just like the residents here of the islands. Hoping everyone who feels it stays safe. Stephen Romo, thanks. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.